Good morning. Um, today is December 11th, so start of a new vlog day. I am just sitting in my car before heading into work to finish the Morning Toast podcast. I am behind from being in Maui, so I am catching up. I will let you know what we are going to do today in a little bit. <sighs> Tell me what's more disappointing than getting a cookie, thinking it's going to be nice and soft and yummy, and it's super crunchy and hard. I like that doughy shit. Hi guys, I apologize about the lighting. The sun is like directly at me because I decided to back up into this parking spot. I'm just getting off of work soon-ish. Um, I'm running a couple errands. And then hopefully today will be the day that we decorate the Christmas tree. Otherwise, I'm like not gonna decorate it. Like it's just, there's just gonna be a tree sitting in my house because I refuse. Like I can't, I can't go through those lights anymore. I just can't deal with it. Um. Okay, I just got embarrassed because there's someone walking by my, that guy right there. He's walking by my car and I'm holding the camera up and I just look crazy. Okay, so I actually came with Shane to the get lights, the trade. So these are the kind we got. I think we want more white. But I kind of like the multicolor. I think I'm going to go red and green. But you guys, I literally almost grabbed these purple lights when I was trying to grab the red ones. Oh, can you imagine if I came home with those? Oh, ooh, these are white wire. Good thing I just noticed that. I'm like the worst at this. Okay, red lights, green wire. I only see white wire. Okay, let me look around. Now we're at the movies watching The Grinch. We're at SMG, where you can eat and watch. Look. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Another day, another mask. <laughs> Today I'm using the Yes to Tomatoes Charcoal Clearing Mask. Um, this is a DIY powder to clay mask, as you saw. So it's really, really convenient. It's actually not super harsh either. I have normally, I have really sensitive skin and I have to be careful with charcoal because my skin just always acts up with it. So this is a really nice one that's not too harsh and not too just damaging, not damaging, just harsh, just harsh. It's not too harsh. Um, and then as you saw, I chose honey to add in with the mixture of water and the charcoal to help smooth my skin because right now my biggest issues are breakouts and texture on my skin. So that's what I'm trying to correct from all my little traveling. So we just got back home from the movie theater. We saw The Grinch, um, the cartoon version, and I'm gonna give it a little review. It was cute. It was cute. Um, I just, I think my problem was, is I love the Grinch with Jim Carrey that I just am like, why, why are you making another one? I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower now. I leave my masks on in the shower because I take 
pretty hot showers. If you take cold showers and it, you're good with that, keep doing that because it's so, so, so much better for your skin than a hot shower. But I take ridiculously hot showers and the steam opens up my pores while wearing the mask and it just really makes my skin feel super fresh when I take it off. Um, and that's also what we do like in a facial too, like when we have a mask, specific masks, certain masks, um, we'll put the steam on to help open up the pores and really help the mask do its oh, job. Also, we got Christmas lights. Actually, Shane and I both went, we saw like a display of the lights we got and so we got the classic gold yellowy Christmas lights. So we're probably gonna put those up tonight and ornaments. We have so many ornaments so it's like almost a daunting task to think we're gonna do it because it's already like eight o'clock and I'm a grandma and I like to be in bed and like be watching my Real Housewives by like 9, 9.30. So we'll see if that happens. <laughs> okay, I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys my most favorite lotion of all time. I use this every single day, two times a day, most of the days. Um, I put it on after the shower and then I normally put a little bit on when I wake up in the morning. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, this is like, <laughs> pretty much gone but I always like scoop the last bits of it out this smells so so good if you like sweeter like fruitier smells this smells really really good um not too sweet because the green tea kind of breaks it down um to not be sweet but just still fruity so it's really really nice love this one and then I love the blushing grapefruit and raspberry cream this is normally the one that I always will get if I just cannot decide on a scent. Um, like sometimes there's just too many and I, I get overwhelmed so I just go to what I know. And this is always my go-to. Again, this one's pretty much empty, <clears throat> but I'm gonna get all that out, girl, don't you worry. And then these ones um, actually recently just came out. This is the Pink Pomelo in Himalayan Sea Salt. This smells super sweet, like in a good way though. I really like sweet smells and um, it it's really sweet and fruity smelling and I just honestly love it. <clears throat> and then this one is their Holiday Limited Collection. Um, this is the Triple Moisture Sweet Red Pear and Vanilla Spice. This is the perfect, look at the little jingle bells. This is the perfect combination of sweet vanilla um, with the pear, but the, it's like the spice that really turns it up. Like honestly, it smells like you kind of have like a yummy cinnamon stick drenched in vanilla with a hint of pear. <laughs> it's really yummy. I love this smell. Um, I got this actually back in September and um, because I got this at the beauty supply store before they were selling it to like the public. And I used this in like October and Shane came to bed and he's like, what is it, Christmas? Like, what does it smell? So this is such a yummy holiday smell. This is definitely what I'll be putting on before I go to my Christmas parties. And um, I actually might put this one on tonight. Check them out. You could always um, get these at Ulta. I know for sure Ulta. Um, so check them out. And if you love them, let me know. And if you hate them, let me know. And if you already love them, tell me what your favorite scent is. I always want to try a new one. Okay, and the tree has definitely lost another night. <laughs> um, I am in bed now watching Vanderpump Rules, the newest one that came out yesterday, and I'm living for it. I love Vanderpump Rules so much, and also I'm like living for Lala this season. Like I used to, it was like a love-hate relationship with her. I didn't like her when she first got in, and then like she kind of just made her way in, and I am just living for her now. I think she is fabulous. Um, the whole Jackson and Brittany engagement party is going to play out today or on this episode. And I don't know why, but I'm just like bleh about it. Like I'm not super excited about it. I just kind of want to move along, bring me to the drama, bring me to James and Lala fighting and James's girlfriend. I can't even remember her name. Oh, Raquel. She's like super quiet and a little awkward, but gorgeous. And I'm just like waiting for her to like make her debut, you know? Okay, the show just finished. Wow, James, what a douche. Raquel, so oblivious to just uh, everything. Katie is so beautiful. She's not fat, and I'm just so, like, excited to see her just, like, stand up for herself and, like, stand in her confidence. Like, that's what we need to see on TV. Um, and let me think what else. Oh, Stassi with her boyfriend. So cute. Like, I am so here for them. They are just adorable together. And, um, I just basically feel like now James is trying to take on like Jax's old role of just like constantly being in the drama and just always having like a storyline. And 
I don't know. It's just not working. Kristen. My God, she's nuts, but I love her. Hashtag which is a wheel always. I'm just going to probably watch a Christmas movie and fall asleep because it's like nine o'clock and I am a grandmother. Um, so I think I'm going to end the blog here. Nothing really exciting today either. I'm so sorry. Like I'm just, I'm boring. I'm so boring. So if you are watching these vlogs, then you to bomb, you to bomb. All right guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribe and hit that like button.